hey y'all welcome back to my channel so before we get started don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification uh, bell so you will be notified whenever I upload so today I am going to be doing a like a first impression kind of slash review um, on the this new foundation that I'm trying and it is this right here it's the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage uh, Foundation. And it's supposed to last for up to 24 hours. But, yeah, this foundation is bomb. Like, bomb. I haven't been wearing it for 24 hours as of yet. But, but just from the little time that I, you know, have had it on, like, this foundation is bomb. Like, I really like this and I got it in the color, it's like 356 Warm Coconut. When I first put this foundation on, like it was, it looked super orange to me. Um, it didn't look as orange on the video, but like in person, it looked super orange. Now that it has, I've had it on for about, for about four hours now, four or five hours now, and you know, it oxidized and dried down, like it matches my skin uh, really good. This is definitely full coverage, like you say, I only have on one layer. Um, and I applied my base, just regular. I put on some moisturizer, some primer, and a little of the Pore Professional to cover up my pores. And that was it. Nothing special. I did nothing different than I would normally do with uh, my foundation. But this is bomb like it covers up all your little imperfections without you having to use concealer and that's only with one layer i applied the foundation with it this brush um, this is an elf powder brush when i got to my forehead i used my real technique sponge and applied you know the rest just to see you know if there was a difference no, there wasn't a difference with the sponge and the brush I still was able to get full coverage with the sponge like it didn't soak up well I don't know I don't know if it soaked up a lot of the product or not but I was still able to get full coverage with it you can add an extra layer but for me I really didn't need it I'm definitely loving this foundation like for real for real This foundation is so bomb. Like that's all I can say. I'm so surprised that by it being a drugstore product that you wow, well, I can't say I'm so surprised, but you know it's always a hit or miss with drugstore product. Definitely recommend y'all to go out and get it. Um, because this is pretty much like the best foundation, the best drugstore foundation. I love it. I do have oily skin so far. Um, the foundation has been holding up. I haven't gotten shiny or anything. It's good for us oily skin people because it is um, a bit dry. So that's why I used a regular, um, a regular primer, not a matte primer. I used a regular primer that way, you know, my face won't look super dry. I still kind of want that hint of dewiness. You know, I got the foundation from Walmart. It was. Um, $9.98 so $10 um, so that's a good price for this foundation and I've been hearing people compare this foundation to the Huda Beauty faux filter foundation um, so they're pretty much saying that this is a dupe for that make sure you select the correct shade because this shade that I picked I did this one and I had another one I forgot the name but it's the next one up from the very next one up from this one and that one looked a little dark I think I still should have got it though uh, but it did look a bit dark for me but yeah again this is uh, the Maybelline super stay full coverage foundation it looks like this so that's gonna be it for this 
review if anything changes i will definitely go ahead and add it in the description box because so far it's just been bomb and it's holding up really good but if something else changed or i find out something different or it surprises me by the end of the day then i'll let y'all know but yeah that's gonna be it for now and like i said again don't forget to subscribe uh to my channel hit the notification bell because i am going to be doing a lot more reviews on a bunch of different stuff and y'all don't want to miss that so i'll talk to you guys in my next video